Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this is the unboxing for the Papercraft Society Box 11. So this is by Christina Griffiths. And you can see here all of the lovely foiled, gold foiled detail there on the front and that beautiful leaf. And this always gives you an indication of the pattern papers and the tones, the colours and everything that's going to be inside. So let's have a look. So this one says, crafting makes the world go round. And that's Christina the kiss and then we've got our envelope and I'll leave all that in there we can look at that in a moment so if I have already had a peek I just want to check everything is there so first of all you get your pocket and it will have on the side there Papercraft Society box 11 card making magic and I have all these stacked together I like to take everything out I keep all my ink cubes in my ink cube storage which I made specifically for these cubes so if you have been you know subscribing um, from the beginning like myself if you click on the link here it will take you to a storage um, kind of caddy thing that I made um, and I popped them all in there. So open this one up so it says don't forget to share your makes with us hashtag papercraft society and then here is everything so let's just move that along here you can see get everything in there we go so first of all we've got the dies so do you know what? when I first saw this it reminded me a bit of the one that we had in the Olga's one that she done, the whimsical one with the fairies, it made a di diorama card. It's that kind of style and it's made me think of doing that kind of card style with it. So um, I'm going to take the packaging off. Okay, so I just brought the stamps in as well because they're going to, you know, um, coordinate with those. So you've got an outer frame here and then you've got this beautiful one here which is going to cut an aperture. Yeah, it's going to cut inside there which is going to look gorgeous. And then this one here, it's quite a big one. So I imagine, yes, yeah, so that's going to cut out that lovely flower, which is raspberries, I think, on there. Looks like it's raspberries, um, which is different. I don't think I've got anything with those raspberries on it. Yeah, look at that. Um, it says, simply thankful for all the good things, with love, sending wishes your way, thanks for everything on your birthday, Thinking of you this season, warmest and warmest wishes. You've got this one here, yeah, which will die cut this one here. And then you've got all these leaves and stuff which will die cut all of these. And then you've got your sprigs of corn, it looks like there. It could be, it's, yeah, I mean, maybe if you coloured it in purples and stuff, it could look like lavender, but it's, it's meant to be corn because obviously it's autumnal. Um, you've got these sprigs here with the bow so yeah it's quite pretty but I do I like that big die so I'll be doing some nice things with that and that one is a really big again it's that corn but I guess that you could do as the lavender um, so again we'll see what the inspiration's like so I haven't had a proper look in the book so then you get your foiled kind of toppers Christina is kind of known for these she always has them in her um, kits. I must admit gold isn't my favourite when it comes to foiling around frames. I much prefer silver and um, I actually these are my favourite. I like these ones that have no, no, no foiling but just the word is actually in gold. Can you see? Really nice and you've got your, I'll pop these out because I'll just keep them loose in the um, in the pockets there. But I actually really like them so I prefer those with the gold running through there. They're really nice so i wish there was more of them but anyway it's got to cater for all and you know those that are fans of christina this is very much her style it'd be you know i imagine lots of you will enjoy that again really like that effect i think that's really really pretty but i'm going to play around with them and you can always remove it i've got punches and i could probably remove that gold or make it a bit thinner i think for me it's a bit too thicker um, but I love the font, love the writing, I love the colours throughout. Again, I do love autumn. Um, I love this time of year. Or, well, it's currently one of the hottest days of the year right now, but we're moving into autumn. Um, again, I love that one. That's really nice. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. I would definitely make it work for me and um, hopefully give others some inspiration on what you can do with it. And then you've got your papers here. So we've got two of each. So we've got this one here. Actually, I'm wondering whether... No, I'm just thinking if you could stamp into those leaves. But it's quite a small, small one there. But you could do something. You could stamp little 
you know you could stamp like with love in there if that was on the front of the card that one would fit yeah that's just a bit different having them white like that you could certainly do something with it so you get two of those you've got this one here which is like a it's almost a mauve grey background a little bit different and then we've got this one I like that one that's nice and then you've got this one here which shows nice rich orange more of a reddy orange and um, the greens and stuff which is really nice it's kind of a bit of a watercolour background that it's against as well so that's your pattern papers your toppers your stamps and dies and then you get your specialty papers in this case it's card this looks like a linen card um, coated gold it's a matte kind of finish and you get that beautiful rose gold I do love that that's the colors that kind of matches with the, the envelope here that is stunning that is so nice I can see that used with the dies in some way and then you've got that beautiful gold as well I like that it's that linen kind of matte finish it's really nice so that's everything in the envelope and then we've got this lovely orange tissue paper which I always keep so I always put them in my gift bags and stuff for presents so in this one here we have our ink cubes so we've got three here we've got this color which is like a purpley color you've got a ready orange and then that olive kind of green color they're hybrid inks so you can use them with watercolors and with alcohol markers and they do stack on top of each other as well if you want to store them that way and then we've got these wooden buttons now these are nice because you can stain these with your inks so if you just um, stamp some of that onto acrylic block and then grab a, a paintbrush you can lift that maybe add some water if you want to depending on how um, you know intense you want the color but you can color those you can also emboss them as well you can sprinkle them with embossing powder um, and or to keep them as they are so you can yeah it's nice to have the wooden ones because you can obviously make them match you've got that lovely orange rich ready orange ribbon there and then we've got some doilies. I love doilies. I use them a lot. And um, I was actually, the last ones I had were Dovecraft doilies. You can see them in there. There we go. I th you get a lot. I mean, it doesn't actually tell you on there, but they're so thin. Have a little look. I'm going to say, I don't know, 20. Maybe more. I reckon, yeah, maybe around 20. You've got loads there. Again, ink them up, stain them. You can create, like, um, use your tea or coffee and stain them put pop them in the oven and they crisp up really nicely if you want to go for more of a distressed look they look really really nice and we've got a little information card so this one says a little sparkle makes all the difference so this one is a guide to adhesive tapes so you've got your double-sided tape your red liner tape foam tape and foam pads washi tape low tack tape and transfer tape pens so that's good and i don't i'm trying yeah transfer tape pens rapidly dispenses neat lines of adhesive onto your oh i get you so glue pen is that what that is adhesive onto your cardstock available in temp yeah i think that's a glue pen I've not known of it to be called a transfer tape pen, but that's something different. There we go. Um, low tack tape for using with stencils, yet yeah, masking and inking techniques. So these are always handy. Again, I have mine just... Oh, actually, I need to hang that somewhere else because it's with all my swatches, but I put a hole in the top and then I've got them on a little um, binder ring and I keep them all together. So that one will, will be added. And then you've got your card stock. So it's always a white core because you can create really nice effects with that. So we've got that lovely orange and then we've got that um, burgundy kind of colour there. And then we've got our booklet, there's the lovely Christina and I'll just give you an idea of some of the makes. I won't show everything because this is always you know, nice to keep as a surprise and it's for the subscribers. But the one that did stand out to me, and um, I speak to Nikki a lot and um, when I met her, I told her I just, I love her cards and I adore this one that she's done. And it just gives you an idea of how lovely that stamp is with the raspberries. And I love the berries, love how she's done that background and then had that on the front really really nice i love it so it just gives you an idea there and that looks like that's on a five by seven card because it's a nice size die um, and she gives you a step by step there on how to use it so that's just one example and i'll just show you some of the ones that um christina's done and that's this one here which is a favorite and that's using that lovely die that pop out like topper sorry that i really like isn't that gorgeous which again, she's made it as an easel, which is why I actually said that before thinking of this one, because I had a quick flick through this before. Um, 
it's just really really nice the way she's used the buttons in the centers you can see that lovely lavender um, dye there really really pretty so um, yeah that's my kind of way of using this collection I think um, and then obviously you've got the toppers there if you want those quick makes and um, there's the interview with Christina as always and again you can see that dye and how it's been used there it's a really nice very big that looks like a six by six um, card there that they've used oh actually no it's five I'm corrected there yeah five so and again but again I'm not going to show too much more that is all for you know you to um, enjoy when you receive yours if you are interested if you the first time you've seen these kits every month it's a different designer it will be a different theme, different colours, and the idea is, is that you, you know, you collect them. You, you know, collect your ink cubes, um, you collect your envelopes. I like to keep mine all stored together. I've got every single one just to the right of me, and it's really nice to look at, because sometimes if you're ever a little bit stumped, don't really know what to do, I look at them, and I think, let's pull out one of my envelopes and have a little look there, because you know everything's together. So I'm just gonna pop all this away. So the subscription for this box is already gone. These are now landing in everybody's, um, you know, through everyone's letterbox. Boxes. but usually what happens is, is once that's happened they will then release anything that they may have held back um, so if this does come up on the website I will share the links below there are a few left of my box which was the last one so I will link that one below and I'll link that video unboxing so I was the designer for the last box so you know again if you want to have a little look at that if this is new to you I will share the whole playlist of all of the 11 box um, unboxings and you can really get an idea of all the different kind of um, just the themes and styles that you get that we've got mixed media um, I know already of some of the future designers and there's some really fun stuff happening so uh, yeah they're really good I'll link all of the description uh, options and everything below that you can click on and, and check out and that will list all the prices and everything as well so yeah that's the unboxing for the box 11 from the Papercraft Society and I'll be back very soon I'll be making some tutorials using this product and again I'll be using a lot of this during my Facebook live see you then soon bye